Mpopo metric class of 2023 has recorded the highest improvement of the provinces in its pass rate with a jump of 7.4 percent points to 79.5 percent. The province is currently hosting an awards ceremony. Let's now take you live to those celebrations. Mama seven, Mama seven, I get the word You don't need a stand. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Honorable Premier. I, I was afraid, Program Director, that people are standing up and I'm saying, you don't stand up, only today we'll stand for the Premier. Then the Premier led the people to stand. Thank you so <laughs> Thank you so much. Nimacharon. Tovela. I'm Shane, um, Program Director, Shonisani Mule, Shifa Shava, a friend of the Executive Mayor of Pulukwa. <laughs> Allow me to acknowledge and give respect to the Honorable Premier Stanley Chupuma Tabata Matlajia Sabirwa, our leader of the African National Congress in Limpopo province and the leader of the government and also the one that deployed me in the Department of Education. I want to take this time and give respect let me also acknowledge the speaker of the Limpopo Provincial Legislature, Honorable Mulapo, also the Deputy Speaker of the Limpopo Provin Provincial Legislature, Honorable Shitareke Matibe. We want to take this time and acknowledge in our midst the presence of our Deputy Minister in the Presidency, Honorable Pinkekekana, I want to also take this time and acknowledge the presence of the members of the Executive Council of the Limpopo Province Honorable MECs that are here, the Chairperson of the Education Portfolio Committee Honorable Violet Mate and also the members of the committee, the Honorable members of the Limpopo Provincial Legislature who are present here. I want to also take this time and acknowledge the presence of our Director General, Mr. Napin Chabelin, together with the head of department of the Department of Education, Mayor Onika Dederen, and the other HODs that are here with us. Honorable Premier, allow me to also acknowledge the presence of the executive mayors and mayors. These are the teams that are here because they are more happier and excited because they are the ones that works with our schools each day. The leaders of the various political parties that are here and organizations, let me take this time and also acknowledge the Provincial Secretary of the African National Congress, Womsanda Ruben Madaje, who is here with us. I want to take this time and appreciate our esteemed royal leadership being led by the Provincial House Chairpersonship who are here with us today and other royal leadership who are here. Today, let's give ourselves a round of applause today. We are blessed because our bishop is here with us. Our right reverend bishop, Dr. Billy Khanyane, is here with us and we are blessed. Thank you so much for gracing the occasion. 
Also, we have got our bishop representatives, our bishop Lekhanyani for the St. Enganasi. They are here. We are blessed. And when we were at the briefing, he was actually telling me, you are going up and up and up, and we are really, really much appreciative. We want to thank and also acknowledge the presence of the Roman Catholic Church. You'll remember that these are also somewhere we host our schools. They are represented by Bishop Jeremiah Masila. The United African Apostolic Church, they are represented representatives from the committee representing Bishop Mureri, the Bishop Ngarezani Sikwari of the South African Council of Churches. We are also joined today by Dr. Tlati representing the traditional healers. And most importantly today, the stakeholders in the Department of Education, our sector unions are here with us. When you talk a teacher, you can't separate them from their unions. We want to acknowledge your presence, leadership. The SGB and Civic Association that are here with us today, we have walked the journey with them. Our SGB associations, they go everywhere where we are each time, every day of the week. They don't apologize. I want to confirm, Honorable Premier, they are always with us. I want to acknowledge the presence of the, our NECT partner that we are doing the book launch together, Sapa Sanase, our SAIS team that is here. We want to also acknowledge that today we do not just have the SGBs, but we have got the parents and the guardians to our learners in our schools in the province. I want to acknowledge our sponsors, the education partners, but most also importantly, the education trust in Limpopo being led by the chairperson. And we have also, you'll remember that we have got partnership with Skimsam. Eunice is here. She has been with us through this journey. We want to acknowledge you. But most importantly, we want to acknowledge our beautiful learners. Did I say it correctly? Okay, they are saying yes. <laughs> My beautiful learners, you still look good in that uniform that you are going to hand over to the other ones that you are going to sponsor. We want to acknowledge the presence of the media, members of the media, comrades and compatriots, ladies and gentlemen, I want to take this time to say good morning. The last item, Honorable Premier, that we did last year, you will remember, we, we, had a, we had a church service as the last thing that we did last year. And in that church service, we had the SACC and all the other pastors and the churches leading us in a prayer. And from that prayer, our learners started to write their exams. And today, I want to start by quoting Pisalem 118, verse 24, that says, This is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Because really, God has given us this day. I am in, indeed delighted to be standing before you this morning to give an account of the hard work that our frontliners our educators across the province have given back to us. Our frontliners, our educators have done in the 2023 academic year in an endeavor to produce good results across all grades. This is the hard work by our districts, the circuits, the schools, and the learners themselves. What should resonate with each one of us as we announce these results is that there is no substitute for hard work and that a reward is always within reach where hard work is involved. The HOD has already in her technical remarks has detailed the profile of the 2023 cohort and a 
and we can actually be able to make it out of the presentation that she has done that this cohort went through a lot in their academic journey. That background gives us reason to put more springs in our steps as we are gathered here today to celebrate the cohort whose academic journey started in 2012 during the fifth year of the National Senior Certificate. Clearly, it was no walk in the park. Honorable Premier, we will forever be indebted to you as the department for the sterling support that you have given to ensure that we strive for excellence across the education system. The reality is that we cannot expect best results at the highest level while there is continuous neglect of faces that we should give the we should give us the very best result at grade 12. There must be a deliberate investment and concerted effort to pay attention to all grades from foundation phase to the FET phase. Your continued support, Honorable Premier, and passion for education has served as a reminder that there should be no room for complacency and comfort zone at a workplace especially one that is charged with the massive responsibility of nurturing a young mind into a responsible citizen. We recall fondly the hope you instilled in some of these candidates last year at the Back to School campaign in Sikukune. You gave them confidence that they can shine like a diamond in the sky. The pep talk has produced magic, Honorable Premier. We are today breaking of stars that have passed with flying colors and still destined for greater heights. Maybe like the program director indicated, your dreams do come true and it did help our learners.